welcome to Board Games Daddy. Continuing games from Ravensburg and aims for, for kids. I got this jewel. This is a jewel here. It's not a rarity, don't get me wrong, but it's an amazing game because it's Labyrinth. I don't have any other version. They all, it's like Monopolies, they all play the same. But this one has the Pokemon. So this is one of the best way for you to get the kids to play board games and get used to play board games is that, oh, no board game, but this is a Pokemon. What? Pokemon, oh man, I want to catch them all. Let's play. I've seen Mario versions. I've seen, besides the original one, I've seen the original one that glows in the dark. I've seen there's a villain there's a villainous labyrinth as well where you are catching heroes or whatever and I've, I've seen other versions that I, I don't remember the details that I, I remember there are more but nothing beats this one so far which is Pokemon okay so I'll make this um, how to play as well because this is super simple so if you're not used to labyrinth this is a labyrinth without any tiles and then you when you start the game you just lay out these things completely randomly okay, that, 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 kill them, mechanics, and now put something there as well like this okay and then in in this edition you have the meeples are these pokemon i'll show you and you have these goals so you can choose either be Charmander, Pikachu, Bulbasaur, or Squirrel, the basic one, the base ones, right? The most famous, the most famous initial trio plus the most famous Pokemon, right? And you start one in one of these starting corners according to your color, so Pikachu would go there. And what you do in this game is very simple. So you start with the tile, always there's a free tile that is not on the on the board and you also start with uh, these things that are split equally among players so you'll need you know that you need to catch you're the one that needs to catch chikorita i don't know i don't know i don't know, sable that's litten right froggy whatever tertik totodile poplio pop, poplio and torshik and you also have let's see how um, monkey something, oh that, this is Poplu, I'm on Gengar, what's a Gengar doing here? Because you notice that these guys are the initial Pokemons from all, all them, all, all the games, right? And all the, the yeah, the games and the sets, etc. There's a red, there's a blue and there's a green and there's Gengar here. So Gengar is an imposter. And Trico, Shinshar, the pig, Snorlax, there's a Snorlax as well. Uh, I don't know, oh, Eevee, that's an outsider, uh, Cyndaquil, uh, something bunny, and I don't know, Fennekin, and, or, or so what, so so what, I don't know, and so you need to catch them, so imagine that I need to catch Tappy here, I have a Tappy and I need to go there, so I'll need to move the labyrinth and I need to open the pathway for getting to him and when I get to him I get rid of my there he is I get rid of my tappy and then when I get rid of all of my assigned Pokemons I'm just doing the game because I'm the first to get rid of them but for you to do that initially everything is blocked right so you can only move until you get to a certain point where you can stop you need to stop right but then you need to think ahead because what you do in the beginning of your turn is put the free tile that you have on your hand and you unlock movements for your for your Pokemon. That's it. So you start in that corner and you may get lucky in having Pokemons near you. But if you have a far away one, you need to plan your trip until you get there. So in your turn, you just place one and you move until uh, further away you want then the other players play and they also when you see when I put this one there was another one coming out on that side here so now the next player may come and just destroy by moving by moving something here imagine this was like that I haven't 
complete report. So I'm moving here and it could destroy my next move. Imagine here, I wanted to go there, now I can't. So I need to find another way and, and move the tiles. And another important stuff is that there is a, this is a magic labyrinth, right? So if you go through here, you may do stuff like this, right? You go through here and you continue your movement here and you can get to the end. Right. So the walls, when you leave, you get there on the other side. If, if you can. So if it was like this, you could not do that. There's no exit. And you can only put tiles on where those arrows are. And some of them don't move. Some of them are part of the structure. And there's no way for you to move them. Only in the ways in between. And that's Labyrinth. It's super simple. So the original one has uh, like magical items for you to get inside the labyrinth. And then they thought, hey, how should we make Ravensburg dot? How should we make so much money as Asbro? Hey, we're just going to do a labyrinth for everything kids like. And then you have it. And then you'll continue to have more and more and more labyrinths for all the IPs they can get their hands on. And that's fine. We'll buy them all. Right, guys? Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and if you like, if you like Pokemon, if you if you landed on this movie, on this film, because you like Pokemon, especially Pokemon, the card game, take a look at my channel. I have a playlist just for that content. I hope that and I have much more Pokemon content to release. So I hope that you stay and see you on these videos, those videos. Thank you and gotta catch them all.